Hello, it's Emily here at Textile Express and I'm here today to talk to you about my top picks for springs. Um, springs? Spring! So I've got um, a choice of fabrics and also some patterns to run through with you. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I always think when you're dressing for spring or when you're thinking about patterns that you're going to use for your home sewn or me made wardrobe, the most important thing is that they're then versatile to use for the rest of the year. Um, so I've been really conscious of that when I'm choosing the patterns and also choosing the fabric and I'm hoping that that's going to come across as we go through the range that I've got around me. Um, so I'm going to start off, this is a make that Pavo actually made. Um, and it is the Friday Pattern Company Ilford Jacket. So this is a fab um, unisex jacket. It's available in two lengths. So we made um, this version here, which sits sort of at hip level, but they also do a much longer length version, which sits at say mid thigh. Um, we actually broke all of the rules, definitely did one of those things that you're always told not to do, but I absolutely love to do and decided to use one of our curtain fabrics to make the Ilford. Um, so this is the version that Pave made for us and it is made in the I Live fabric called Mandu Sage. And it's styled, I would say, in a um, very similar style, this sort of more cropped version anyway, to a denim jacket. So perfect for spring because you can lay layer it up really casually over a t-shirt and jeans or perhaps over a summer dress. Um, depending on which fabric you choose for, choose, for, um, depending on which fabric you choose, um, it can be a really versatile basic. So if you went for a denim or a plain corduroy, um, then obviously it's going to make less of a statement than something like this gorgeous Mandu Sage eye cap fabric. Um, so I would say probably for an intermediate sewer, this one, there's quite a lot of buttons to sew on and um, sewing the facings and the collars and that sort of thing. But really, really fab result. And Pavo's done a really gorgeous job of placing the pattern um, and also working out the pattern repeat on that. So I just think that's a really fun item for spring. So it's perfect on the days where you don't know what's coming next. Is it gonna be a rain shower? Is it gonna be some sunshine? Layering is key. And I think the Ilford jacket is perfect for that. Um, as I mentioned before, if you were thinking about a corduroy, then you could make it in something like this. Um, so this is our super soft stretch corduroy in rust. Now we've got this in a few different colours um, and I've also pulled this out because it will work well with some of the other patterns that I'm going to show you in just a minute. But it's a lovely soft chunky corduroy, corduroy, sorry I can't get my words out today, <laughs> put my teeth back in, um, lovely soft chunky corduroy and it's also got some comfort stretch in it which I don't know about you but particularly at the moment um, a little bit of stretch in my clothing is certainly not going to go amiss and um, it just adds a little bit of comfort so particularly across um, the shoulder or across your back or even on the sleeves on something like the Ilford jacket um, even though you don't need to use a stretch fabric, something with a little bit of comfort stretching, um, I'm just never going to say no to that. So that was one of my fabric choices for the Ilford jacket. I also have this lined up on my sewing pile um, and I'm going to make it out of one of our tapestry fabrics, um, the leopard print, which I think will be quite good fun, paired with jeans and just a white top, perfect for spring probably going to wear it into summer as well let's be honest and then it's all the right colours for autumn and winter so never mind spring choices it will do me year round. A pair of elasticated waist with a little tie wide leg trousers in a linen or a linen look fabric and I can see why because they're so versatile um, to wear and so comfortable to wear. I think since Covid, since lockdown, sorry to mention it but it's definitely been a trend that's driven from there Everyone just wants to be a bit comfier. Um, <laughs> we're not seeing as many fitted clothes on the high street or even in high fashion. Um, and we're definitely moving towards more this wide leg trend. Um, so I've chosen for this just a very, very basic um, eco wash linen. Um, and I've gone for it in the natural color, but it's just classic. You can't go wrong. Um, this is a gorgeous, linen fabric 
um, you'll see the, the slubby texture to it. And this is the colour that I'm seeing mostly across the high street, just this natural colour. Really easy to pair with anything, you know, whether you want to go really simple and basic, like a plain black or white tee, or whether you want to dress it up a bit. I mean, there's no reason at all why you couldn't wear a pair of trousers like that with something a bit jazzier on the top. Um, so the SD, which is the pattern that I've chosen it from, is a Tilly and the Buttons pattern. We have made it before, um, we'll pop a little picture below. We actually made it in one of our soft drape pattern fabric, the Blotches Noir, um, but this time I'm recommending it in the linen. Um, it is a two piece, so there is a coordinating top that can be worn with it. Um, and it also comes in a short option, which I don't know if you'll be able to see, but a little flash of that on the back. Um, coordinates are still really, really popular at the moment. There's a lot with waistcoat options. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the waistcoat look, not on me anyway, um, but I do really like this little top here. Um, and again, perfect for spring. Um, the trousers could be paired with knitwear if it's still a little bit chillier or throwing on a jacket over your coordinate set. The Eco Wash Linen that I've chosen here is available, I think, in about 12 colours. So whether you're a neutral girl, whether you like just plain black, keep it simple, um, or whether you prefer something a bit more vibrant, we've got like lilac, sages, rust colours. Um, so definitely check those out. They wash and wear really, really well. Um, and it's a beautiful, soft linen fabric. Moving on to a pattern that we featured lots and lots of times, quite often in a linen or in a round me fabric, but they're so comfortable and I really do think spring is the perfect time of year to wear them. Um, it's another Tilly and the Buttons pattern. So this is the Erin Dunkarees, which I have hanging up behind me here. Um, so these ones are made in the charcoal rami and then they're lined with one of our gorgeous whoop. <laughs> that was not was what was meant to happen <laughs> so these yeah charcoal rami they don't stay on hangers very well um but these are a great one for spring um again you can fit a jumper underneath them or just a little t-shirt long sleeve top shirt blouse anything you like really um also look really great paired with a cardigan over the top um and they are super duper comfortable, um, nice and cool to wear. Um, again, you could style them with a sandal or with a boot. So really, really multi-purpose. So really like making these in a linen fabric, which is again why we featured them after the Eco Wash linen. Um, but I've also made a pair in corduroy. Um, denim is obviously also a classic but there's no reason why you couldn't make them in a printed cotton. Um, just as long as it's heavy enough, um, you don't want to make them, I would say, in anything too, too flimsy. And I think it's even suggested that you can make them in a jersey if you'd like. Let me just check. Yeah, low stretch knits. Um, so if you're looking for a really comfy option, that could be something to check out. Um, so great versatile piece for spring is the Erin Dungarees. And then my last choice of the day um, is I think my proudest sewing moment to date so you may have seen this featured before um, but this is the closet core Blanca flight suit now we ordered this pattern in because I thought it looked very very cool never did I imagine that I would actually be able to sew it myself and be proud of the way it looked but we got there um, and I'm really, really pleased that I challenged myself. So if you are new to sewing or if you're just not very confident in your own abilities, probably a little bit like me, then give it a go, challenge yourself. There are so many great videos that go along online now with all of these patterns and so many great tips. The pattern companies are doing such a fantastic job. It makes it so much easier. You don't have to sit there and try and decipher a whole load of information that's written in front of you. So give them a go. This is a great piece for spring. Um, it's still going to be warm enough for those chillier days. You could throw a jacket over it, um, but equally it works well by itself. So we made it in the super soft um, stretch cord, a bit like this rust one here. But as you'll see behind me, we opted for the lilac, which I just think is a great color for spring. 
I must admit, probably suits Lizzie better than it does me, um, but it is gorgeous. So I'll just bring it down and show you some of the features. So there's a couple of different leg length options and also a short sleeve version, which you may prefer um, to carry you over from spring into summer. And then it's got a full zip and a tie at the front. Um, so really cool utility wear has still been quite fashionable. Um, great big size pockets, um, just a really cool piece. If you didn't want to make quite such a fashion statement, then you could make it in something like our denims. Um, so we do a really nice range of washed denims, one of which I've got out here for you. Let's move those dunkeries out of the way. So there's a lot of denim around. Again, I would say in all sorts of clothing. It's not strictly on your jeans or your jackets anymore. We're seeing lots and lots of denim dresses, denim two pieces, denim shorts, um, which is cool. Everyone loves denim. It's a fantastic base, basic. Um, so this is our eight ounce, I think is the weight. Let me just check for you. Yeah, eight, out, eight ounce washed denim, and this is the mid blue colorway. We also do a lighter blue and a darker blue, um, but it's just a really great versatile cloth. Would work really well for this jumpsuit or actually for any of the patterns that I've shown you today because it's just a really nice wearable weight. It's not too heavy and also not too light like a chambray. Um, so that's a great versatile cloth for spring. I think we've nearly run through all of the fabrics that I've got on the table but I will just show you these cotton poplins that I pulled out. Um, I won't feature it too heavily because we haven't got the pattern, but it is available as a download. Um, this is the peony dress. Um, so it's a really lovely long sleeve dress, um, full length with a sort of frill at the bottom. I'll pop a little picture here of Lizzie wearing the dress. Um, and I just thought I would pick these few fabrics just to give you an idea of how different a pattern can look in a different fabric. Um, so this fabric here is the chamomile clusters, which is a really gorgeous cotton lawn. Um, but I've also pulled out a couple of these cotton poplins, which are the loveliest fabric to sew with. Fantastic for beginner sewers. If you've never really sewn a garment before, I would 100 100% re recommend picking something that you could sew in a cotton poplin because it will not move, it will not stretch, it will behave and it will make the job so much easier for you. So this little ditzy one is called the Summer Meadow Cotton Poplin. Um, again, I just think this would look really gorgeous in this peony dress. Equally, it would work really well for the lining. I always use the cotton poplins for the lining in the bibs of all of my Erin dungarees. Um, I went also for this larger scale design, so this paisley, which is the twisting paisley cotton poplin in blue um, on a full length dress with full length sleeves. I think you can afford to go with a bigger design if that's your style. Um, but this is also a really nice design for men's shirts. I'm afraid I don't have a pattern off the top of my head that I think of that's perfect for a men's shirt. But if you know one, pop it below because we do get lots of people asking and we've made a really concerted effort um, when buying our new stock of poplins to make sure that they're unisex so they work well for men and for women. Um, and I think that's a really gorgeous paisley design. And then finally, we can't talk about our top picks for springs without mentioning gingham. So <laughs> gingham has obviously been a trend for a few years now, but I think it's sort of come back big style this year. Um, I've just pulled out two of our blues because they sat really nicely with the paisley and the denim and the eco wash linen that I had out here. Um, so this is the 17 mil denim blue and also the 17 mil in, I think it is called duck egg. Yeah, it's 100% cotton, really gorgeous woven gingham. Um, we also do a smaller scale in the same design, um, but lovely for summer dresses and skirts um, or shirts, blouses. So I just wanted to feature those. If you're after ginghams, um, really nice and fresh for spring, carrying you into the summer period as well. Um, 
I hope that wasn't too much information and I haven't waffled on for too long. Um, but yeah, any questions, pop them in the comment section below. And if you've enjoyed this video, then please make sure that you like and subscribe and then we can keep making more for you. Um, also, don't forget on our YouTube channel, it is full of free tutorials. So that's another fantastic reason to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much everyone for joining us today and we can't wait to see what you've all been making. See you soon.